Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our first deck of the day, which is going to be a fun one, Grixis Land Destruction. This deck may not be the best, but it'll be fun. So our, our goal here is to basically, uh, we're a Grixis control deck that's going to try to destroy all of our opponent's lands after we destroy all of like their other things, their creatures and their planeswalkers and everything like that. And just eventually win the game by just amassing uh, just a, a huge mana advantage where our opponent can't play their spells because they don't have lands, but we can just play our spells and so on. So basically what we have here is we have our sweepers with Ritual of Soots and Star of Extinction, which are going to be pretty crucial to that plan, especially Star of Extinction, which destroys a land and uh, clears out the battlefield completely, getting rid of all the creatures and planeswalkers. We also have... Uh, haphazard bombardment this is our our main land destruction spell so whenever it, it etbs you choose four non-enchantment permanents it's it's really unfortunate that you don't get to choose enchantments uh, for the most part um, but you just choose four non-enchantment permanents and uh, they can be lands they can be creatures you know that kind of stuff and you you just destroy one of them randomly every single turn uh, multiple haphazard bombardments on the battlefield get kind of interesting. You destroy all of them except for when there's one left, you don't get destroyed. So basically, in three turns, you destroy three of the four that you choose randomly. So you can destroy three lands kind of thing. Uh, we also have Bedeck, which is an okay removal spell that has Bedazzle later on. And that can destroy a land. Of course, we're Memorial to War to destroy some lands that we can keep rebuying with our Crucible Worlds uh, to make sure that our opponent can never come back kind of thing and tied all together we have the Mirari Conjecture which is just a, a really uh, important card to the deck and just a really powerful one so we can return an instant and so like discovery counts as an instant or a sorcery there or we can get our Bedeck or we can get our Contempt we can get something like that or our Blink of an Eye and then return a sorcery and then the third chapter is important we cast our spells and we start doubling them up so maybe we need to uh, double dispersal. Hey, what's up, London? <laughs> um, we can maybe double dispersal or double bedazzle or double star of extinction. That's right. Blow up a couple lands that way as well. Double thought erasure. You know, we can we can do some stuff with that. So that's pretty neat there. Um, and so yeah, so to win the game, we kill our opponent with the fight with fire. Uh, deals ten damage. Which that's a lot. And then we can get it back with Marari's Conjecture and deal another 10. Uh, Marari's Conjecture, we can reset. We can get Blink of an Eye back with Marari's Conjecture, you know, very late game. And then use Blink of an Eye to return the Marari's Conjecture to play the Marari's Conjecture again, you know, kind of thing. Like we can have the first two chapters kind of go off and get our sorcery back and then bounce our Conjecture and redo that and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll just kill our opponent with this fire with fire. Usually, usually, honestly, opponents just concede after you blow up all their lands and you have a bunch of stuff and they have nothing. They'll just concede. But if they play it out for like a long time, you'll eventually kill them with some fire with fires. Eventually. It takes a while. But that's what we got. Uh, sideboard, we got a lot of stuff for control. Got some nib mizzet so we can have some creatures in there, I suppose. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Thanks for the bits, Jeff. Cheers. So, uh, no, I have not considered Mastermind's acquisition at all. Honestly, no. Hey, Coltra. So, so yeah, so that's what we're going with. It's not the best deck. I played a few matches earlier today, uh, putting it together, and I won one game out of a few matches. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. I went to like the ranked part. My ranked my ranking went down a little bit, but that's okay. But also the list was a little rougher earlier today. And so I like where we're at now. We'll see if we can get any wins. Hey, Jeff's keeping those cheers going. Thanks, Jeff. Get in that top spot. There's my cheers emote. All 
All right, here we go. All right, we have some cards. So I'm playing 27 lands in the deck because when we have six cards that cost six and four cards that cost seven, we're going to need to hit land drops. I feel like land drops are pretty important. So I don't really mind keeping a two land hand because we should be able to hit land drops. You would think. Uh, Fury crash through. They're kind of all in on this. On the Steamkin. We'll be able to fight with fire the Steamkin. It'll hit us for like four. Looks like Catalyst Elemental? I don't even know what this card does. Sack it add to? Alright. That doesn't seem like that was worth it. Yeah, Hawkeye, okay. I don't know what our opponent's doing either. Hey, track team. Oh no, another Steamkin. Second Steamkin, that's a problem. All right, we'll kill first Steamkin. I'll have to find a way to kill the second Steamkin. It's pretty nice having like Discovery surveil over lands and then using your cruc Crucible to get them back, that kind of stuff. I'd like to draw land, but you know, we have our 27 lands, hopefully we draw one so I can blink plus kicker. Okay, we did not. Wow. Where, where are my 27 lands at? There they are. All right, let's slow this down. This Lesnia Angels deck is on Stream Decker from a, a while ago. Uh, from the last time I played it, which was like, you know, four or five days ago, or I don't know, it's it's somewhere on there. Um, I don't know if I'll change anything before today or not, but it's on there somewhere. We don't have any lands over here. That is a terrible card for us to see. That was a terrible card for us to see from our opponent. At least Crucible has an awesome animation. The risk factor is likely game with the field. I can't really take this. We're going to have to hope they get real unlucky and draw a bunch of lands. I mean, if they just have, like, a, a spell, we're pretty dead anyway. I need them to have, like, just a bunch of, like, lands and gutter snipes and steamkins. Things that don't deal damage right away, like creatures like that. Yeah, field, that's good. Get some more fields. Play another field. Uh.
Oh, that's true. I could have just been the land with the crucible out. That's right. That's true. Good call. All right, so this is going to be tough for us, a, a deck that's so focused on burn spells. Creatures are definitely important to kill, though. Um... Yeah, don't love our chances here. Bedeck's not Bedeck not killing electrostatic field is pretty annoying. Thanks, Jeff. 20 seconds. I got to cut three cards. I've got some of these thought erasures that are just going to end up being weaker cards later on. Fire with Fire can kill O4s. Um, don't really want to cut it. So Fire with Fire was pretty important for us there, how it could kill its Steamkin. The air curve is pretty high. Our curve is admittedly above above normal. Ah, <laughs> uh, stupid O fours. Does plus three minus three does not kill an O four. That's a good negate. We had two cards with that negate. I can double bedeck. Not the best. That is also not the best. So I'll be able to flip over into a land next turn. just too greasy it's too greedy to graveyard that even though I wanted it to be an untapped land so like a cast bombardment oh, we had our other two memorial awards there I 
All right, let's just play it safe. Get this guard snipe out of here. Our land destructions our land destruction plan doesn't work as well against mono red of course with them having all those uh, real cheap spells Wow interesting so no gutter snipe for them now that's interesting. Definitely considering casting the other haphazard bombardment there. Because then we'd be able to have negate up. But I really didn't want to just hit the take the hit from Steamkin. Hmm. I think I'll just give him another turn. And just have Ascant activation here. Give him another turn to play another mountain. Hey, what's up, Spencer? Matthew, you like this as Jund better? I mean, Mirari's Wake is crucial. I don't, I don't think you want Wayward Swordtooth in your Star of Extinction deck. Like how, that doesn't... No, you don't want that. Alright, now they got the other one. We'll destroy two lands. I pass in Brabarment's pretty cool. Both those lands are going away next turn. play another bombardment. Yeah, we'll just do another one of these. Get rid of three, three of their permanents. Hopefully all three lands. Nice. <laughs> what is this, Jake? This is some Grixis land destruction. Okay. They're coming back. This is what this is what we want our, our deck to do with the haphazard bombardments, just destroy all their lands. <laughs> level one pinger versus level ninety-nine pinger. Even Mono Red sometimes can't cast their spells. Yeah, I could have just memorialed the land. I don't know why I want to play the Contempt, but maybe probably just a memorialing the land would have been better. Alright, so we got all three bombardments out there. That was nice. Maybe I don't want even the Tooth Auto Erasures. Yeah, we'll play another Soot. And do I want Expansion or Duress? I'll play a Duress. <laughs> I 
All good, King Tully. You're here. Per perfect timing. This is the first match of the day. We did just have our really nice game here. I, I doubt we'll win again, but we'll see. We're going to see if that happens again. Likely won't happen again. I think our opponent mulled the 5 last game too. But it looks like they're mulled the 5 again. Ugh, field of ruin. You don't have a target. Uh, fight with fire. You kill your opponent with fight with fire. Got rid of gutter snipe. Hey, Jeff with the lucky, the lucky bits. Got those lucky bits. Yeah, you use conjecture to to rebuy your fight with fires, or you can have your third chapter of conjecture also. Um, oh, sorry, my mic was covering up. Okay, he's back there. Give himself a bat. Down to 12. At least that's the same... The same one there. They have so many lands. It's going to be hard to destroy all those lands. I, I didn't really want to side out field because I... I would still wanted to be able to hit our land drops. It is unfortunate that Bedazzle doesn't get to destroy land either. Uh. Uh. That's awkward. Alright, good. I like them playing that card. Hmm. Adds colorless. Hmm. Tilt. Do 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 do. Boom. Ow. Do 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 do. They're not saving that shock to try to get the. Nice. To try to get the Phoenix back. Yeah, I know my mana base isn't the best for Niv is it? I know, I know. Down to eight. This card's not bad. That card's good at resetting the haphazard bombardment. But I'm at five in library right now. This isn't bad. I guess I'm gonna go graveyard though, because I I prefer to draw. The land for Niv Mizzet. Mirai Conjecture is pretty good. Let's get this Contempt back. Hmm. 
So I'm going with the star here because we're going to kill our opponent with fight with fire next turn. So I'm just going with the star to make it harder for my opponent to kill me. Because Mirari next next turn we're just going to do 20 to them with five, five, fight with fire kicked. <clears throat> Grixis land destruction, defeating mono red. Yeah, bombardments are rare. They said we couldn't do it. They said we couldn't win. Haphazard bombardment, leaving our opponent who had like five lands there, get him down to one land. <laughs> We are 1-0, Mike. We did it. We have a winning record. We have achieved the impossible. Okay. So we could bedeck that, but let's see what else they got going on over here. Thief, Seraph. Thief and Seraph are the cards that I, you know, they're a little toughest. I, I guess I'm probably going to just take Thought Erasure and have Bedeck for Thief and just kind of go from there. I'll put that land over here. The Seraph could be a problem. Yes. Fire with Fire is 10 damage kicked, but because we had... Uh, I guess I don't really want to feel the ruin that if they have Basic Island. Uh, because we had the Marari Conjecture, the third chapter was going to copy it. So we were going to be able to do 10 twice. Could just hold up Bedecked. Oh, we'll cast this thing. Jeff, keeping those bits coming. Love it. It's like I love those cards. Those are some good ones. Resplendent Angel. Am I very worried about Resplendent Angel? Why did I play that Field of Ruin? Man, I'm playing that Field of Ruin. Now I can't Thought Razor plus Bedecked. The deck. Oh, playing that field of ruin, it's hurting me. Cause yeah, I could thought erasure away like the the Sarah for thief, and then bedeck this thing. That's annoying. Well, I guess I'll just cast this here, bedeck. I still have the Contempt for the Seraph. London! Resubbing for 26 months. That deserves a lot of hype. Getting that sub battle countdown down even farther. Let's keep getting that down. That'll be a fun day. Doing the sub battles. Um... Yeah. No blue mana still. There we go. There we go. Taking the Bedeck, uh, because it's cheaper and, you know, it helps us double spell. Contempt is a little better, but I like the ability of double spelling. Maybe even triple spelling on, like, this third chapter. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Ugh, binding. Gross. Gross. 
So now the question is, do I slam this Immortal Sun or do I try to Thought Erasure like another binding first? I think I just slammed the Immortal Sun. We'll, we'll st we still have Dispersal right now to be able to take out the Binding. Haphazard Bombardment not killing, killing Binding is annoying. Do you think our opponent regrets not spelling choose cor correctly? Do you think that was a... Do you think they chose wisely by not adding that E in there? Yep, we get yeah, we get to dispersal. Yeah, we could dispersal binding, get back dispersal with Mirari Conjecture's ETB effect. Absolutely. Ow. Each opponent. Nice. But wait, they, they can just bounce the Shalai. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. So they could just bounce Shalai, and then I don't get Dispersal back. And I cannot Thought Erasure. That costs four mana. Hmm. How many basics do they really have? Right? I should have looked at the auto tap. I, I really want to double black here because if, if the binding does get bounced, then I could get contempt back for the Shalai. All right, they found a blue source. We have to, you know, not die to this Tithe Taker in five turns. Get rid of that blue mana. Ugh. on spells. Think things you can cast. Um. I kind of want to take the Tithe Taker. So we're going to 7. I guess the Tithe Taker is 4 turn clock. I kind of want to do the Tithe Taker. I think we can probably draw a removal spell. We can probably find a removal spell for this Resplendent Angel in the next three turns. You know, like especially a Star of Extinction. Alright, looks like we're getting haphazard. 
which is that, 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 and that. All right, one out of four chance to kill Resplendent Angel. One out of four. Roll the dice. Ah, oh, it didn't quite get there. All right, it's one out of three next turn. No, nah, not the Ixalan. We can't, I can't target Ixalan. Non, you can only target non-enchantments, which is annoying. Seriously? Are we just really not going to find something that kills this, this thing? Ooh, what if I blink it? So I could blink or the deck. Let's get this blink. All right, we'll see if we'll see what haphazard Babarma does. We'll see if it kills it. One out of three chance. All right, did not. Wait. Okay. There we go. We're still at one. We're not dead yet. Officially not dead yet. Boom! This deck is amazing. Um, so all we need to do is play against a three-color deck that only has two of their colors for the whole game. That helps. So they're going to be coming here with, like, duresses and their thought erasures and negates and all sorts of stuff. This is going to be a tough match to win, I think. Definitely want these lava coils. These next two games are going to be a little tougher. Cry of the Carnarium doesn't sound that bad, but it does sound kind of bad. Like, Tithe Taker or Thief of Sanity is about all it's getting. What if they don't concede? How do we win? We'd win with Fight with Fire eventually. Yeah, Fight with Fire will kill our opponent eventually. We were like 100% to win that game. Yeah, like, I don't think our opponent could possibly win anymore. So it was right that they conceded. Mike, what would you board out? What am I supposed to board out? Nothing here seems bad. Everything is okay. Do I take out a, a soot, maybe? You got 18 seconds. Hopefully you're saying something. Uh, Discovery is great. I'm thinking, I guess a soot and a star. I guess. Star is a pretty important win con for us. Or like, pretty... Pretty important part of our deck. Uh, you were taking out Crucible? You have to be a little faster, Mike. Gotta help me out here. Mm. 
Makes sense. So playing Memorial to War on turn one means that if we draw a Thought or Azure, I'm not going to be able to play it. And if we need, if we, like whatever we want to play turn two, we have to shock. Looks like we don't have to shock anymore. kill that thing easily enough. Let's see what else they got. Hmm. You know what? I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I don't, I don't think I need to take any of these. I'll just let them have those. You know what? I'll, I'll just let them have them. Yeah, you can find the deck list here in exclamation point decks. Uh, you can also... You know, if you any of the any of the YouTube videos with the decks have the the deck lists in them. No reason to wait for my opponent to draw a negate or anything like that. Well, that's annoying. Playing the Blood Crypt, I guess, is technically better with them not, you know, with it being a shock land, but they don't know about the Blood Crypt, so just going with the lands they know about. Well, that's, that's a problem. Alright, hit something good. That's a good one. I'll take that. Oh, that's a good point. I should be warding out Crucible against Thief of Sanity decks, right? Because if they hit Crucible... Then they get to start playing all their, their stuff again. Alright, Star of Extinction, where are you at? There you are. Found you. Uh, we need another land. Star, blow up this hallowed fountain. Alright, come on, kill this immortal sun. Kill the immortal sun. Kill the immortal sun. Hey, what's up, Kate Mueller? Thanks for getting that resub in here for 22 months. Dang it, not the immortal sun. Alright, we got a 50 50 shot of getting rid of it next turn. All right, 50 50 shot whether it's going to be immortal sun or drowned catacomb we need it to be immortal sun i think i'll just wait a turn on that they kept their card on top pretty quickly if it's not immortal sun they won't have blue mana at least come on immortal sun yes okay we're still in there Uh, that's annoying. That thing doesn't die very easily. I know that that land has the counter on it, but still just getting rid of all their blue sources. Dude, but Barman was clutch. Killed Diva Sandy and Immortal Sun for us. Alright, do I have Memorial? A non blue source? Or do I wait? Um, I'll, I'll just wait. They better not draw like a Lyra here that costs 5 mana.
All right. Um. Hmm. Man. Uh, this is annoying. I want this card really bad for Memorial Chain, but it doesn't keep us from dying. I, I want this card. We have Ascanta that can get us more spells. Crucible will help us hit some land drops. Alright, looking for more bombardments. Um, I guess I'll take this thing though. Conjecture is not bad either, they're both good. Stop making one ones. When you die, just die. Ooh, I want that. Um, I probably should have played drunk count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. Yeah, I could have played Drown Catacomb. Oh wait, this th this thing costs six though. Wait, cancel. Let's make sure make sure we're tapping okay. All right, we still get to activate as Kanta. There we go. Uh, we'll take the Goblish right now. Question was, are you worried at all about some of these upcoming arena changes or not just or just not interested in the cosmetic stuff? Those Um Those don't really seem like worried or not interested. Like why are those the two options? Oh, wait. I didn't activate Ascanta. Aw, I wanted to activate Ascanta. Okay, what do we have over here for an instant? I have the deck. But I, I'm not worried about the the thing, the stuff. I'm not too worried um, about the new changes. Let's see a dispersal. All right, kill two of the four. That one down. That one down. Now we'll start Memorial to Warring. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, I mean, there's. I don't really see any downside to, to the the changes. It's just if if people want to spend money on cosmetic stuff, they can. If they don't want to, they don't. They don't have to, kind of thing. It's just, you know, it's there's. The only thing that could possibly be that could possibly be bad is if the changes slow down the client and make it harder to run from a source like that. Besides that, there's there's nothing bad with it at all. All right, we're two and zero with Grixis land destruction. Besides, from that standpoint, there's no reason to think that there's anything else. There's, there's anything bad about it.
Um, we are undefeated. This one, it looks like we may find our first defeat here, though. We're going to have to mulligan that. Uh, we're 27 lands, right? Like, we can find another land. Plus, we're on the draw. Because any land lets us cast Discovery. That'll, that will work perfectly fine. If somebody thinks it's overpriced, they simply... They can simply not buy it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they're... Th it's expensive. And... You know, it may not be worth the money to everyone and, and so on. Especially the cards. Like, I am very surprised about how expensive the cards are. This, the sleeves and the other thing. The sleeves and the avatar... Uh, seem like a reason... Like, seem like reasonable priced items. But the... the the cards seem really expensive, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's better to have the option than not have the option, basically. Like, there's going to be, some people are going to want to spend the money to do it, other people won't, and it's all, it's all okay. You know, you let, let people enjoy what they want. It is unfortunate if somebody really wants it and can't afford it kind of thing. I don't know, that's just kind of life, though. There are things that people want and can't afford. It's better to have the, the thing available for some amount of people, at least. Another Mortify? Come on. This is what most of our sideboard is in for this matchup here. That second Mortify really hurt. I mean, the first Mortify hurts as well. Both Mortifies hurt. Really need Ascanta. All right, they kept that card on top, so let's blow up. Um, what am I gonna attack? White, blue. I mean, I want to attack blue. They got three blue already, though. I guess just the blue white because they got three blue, three black. Let's attack the blue. It's more likely that they don't have a basic island because of Kaya's Wrath. Okay, well, they do. I wouldn't say it's more likely, but it's it's a possibility, I guess. That's a better word to say. Dang. Sorry I'm late. Let's skip to the good part. We just have so many dead cards game one. Can't really beat Teferi. Alright, let's get all this stuff in. We'll get these out. This out. This is 66. I mean, I like Bedex because they're just going to bring in Thief of Sanity. It's just very, um, very easy to predict that. Could just get rid of, like, the Star of Extinctions. Let's keep, like, one star. And that's 63. Hmm. Sixty one. Babar Babarman is an important card in this matchup. Cut a land. I don't know about that. We saw us getting stuck on lands there. And it being difficult. Maybe cut a Conjecture. Or a Contempt. Or Expansion. Or just... 
Grand Cut of Contempt. So I think there are too many wrath effects in standard right now. I don't know. I don't I don't love that Kaya's Wrath was printed. I don't love that there's a four mana wrath, honestly. I don't I don't really enjoy that too much. Um But we're just at a at a bigger standard right now. I won't really necessarily say there are too many. Alright, and there's the double thief of sanity. So I'm gonna take negate. And then have erasure for one thief, another erasure for another thief. Really third bombardment and third thief. Come on. What is the deal with this? We just find all the same cards. It's three bombardments, two negates. Where's our tw where's some of our 27 lands? It does there does seem to be like every time that I keep exactly two lands, I can't find lands. That's what it has been seeming like the last few days. It's like the the two land number. Alright, the deck. Just our third negate. Yeah, I saw that Reddit post about the shuffler. Third thief. At least they didn't take our crucible. Alright, they kept that card on top. Let's shuffle it away. Get rid of this watery grave because those are all... Uh, these are all buddy lands. Oh, right. I don't have a basic mountain. But we put the bedeck on top. Got rid of the thief. Coming back. Fourth thief? Come on. Looks like we're picking up a loss here for the old Grixis control. Or Grixis land destruction. They're not even milling over very many lands for us. They've hit like one land a couple of times. Yeah, so we have three lands in the graveyard, including that Field of Ruin. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means there's 19 more lands in the next 32. We, we're basically out of spells. We have almost only lands left. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Do, 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 and do. Dang, I wanted to hit Thief, of course. They probably have like my Niv Mizzet over there. They may have hit both our, of our Niv Mizzets by now. Hopefully they haven't. But I'm, I'm likely gonna mill out before winning. anymore. Well, at the opening hands, we were looking good. I liked, I honestly liked where we were at, like, you know, with the two opening hands when we had our turn one duress and everything, but then, because, you know, we had an answer to the two Thief of Sanities in their opponent's hand, but then they drew a third Thief, which then we killed, and then they drew a fourth Thief, and then we died. All right, I like this one. All right, so it's still two and one. Still better than expected. We'll see if we can get a third win, but even two and two is not so bad for our land destruction deck. All right, opponent's at six. Breeding pool, huh? I don't even know if it's like good to cast the discovery right now because I don't know. You know, like they could be turbo fog or they could be sultai mid range. Like they could kind of be either one, and depending on which one they are, it would be different cards we would want to keep on top, kind of thing. Well, it looks like a sultai deck. Well, those two cards are good against either one. Well, it's Sultai Reclamation or like Sultai mid range. Hey, Yud. Uh, no, Jolner. I don't. I don't know anything about what you're talking about there. Ooh. Well, let's start with the Vivian. Next turn, we'll take Vraska. I guess, I guess I can wait a second to take the Vraska. We can just play Morari's Conjecture first. Having like double thought erasure in a couple of turns is gonna be sweet. Um, let's take this thing. All right, so our opponent has five lands, so we can just play the bombardment and guarantee that we destroy a land, so we don't have to worry about them playing Braska still. Next turn. And this one look, is looking really good for us. So now third chapter of Marari's Conjecture is gonna be sweet. 
Alright, so we will kill both of these things. Um, it's probably better to discovery first. We'll discovery a couple times. Ooh, give me that. Thank you. I guess I would like a land. Yeah, I'll just take both of these. And we'll thought erasure away these two cards. Take that one. I'll keep this. Take that one. I'll keep this. All right, and blow up a land. Do 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 do. Boom. There we go. What a savage turd. You're right. That that turd was savage. Just thought erasure both their spells, kill both of their creatures, destroy land, cast two discoveries. That was awesome. So I don't know if we sideboard too much in this matchup. The whole Vivian and Vraska, those kind of planeswalkers are, are annoying with our enchantments. For sure. But of course we have the Star of Extinctions for a reason. So basically do I want another Ritual of Soot in here? I mean, I probably should be playing all four Ritual Sets. Carter with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype for our new subscriber here. Sub number three on the day. Let's get that sub battle countdown going down. Down to 178 now. Thanks for that support. I really do appreciate it. So if we're bringing in the Ritual of Soot, what am I cutting? Maybe this is a, a matchup I cut Crucible. Yeah, I'll cut the Crucible. You think they'll have Thief after board? It's certainly possible. I mean, Blink is kind of a... It's kind of our win con with the Mirari Conjecture and stuff. Looks like blinking the haphazard bombardment to reset it is really nice. Yeah, fight with fire is our win con. All right, land drops. Ugh, not really that land, at least yet. We'll be playing that land on turn three. I want to be able to thought razor on two. We can like discovery plus memorial on three. Holding up negate. Basically thinking, should I discovery this turn and thought erasure next turn? No. Alright, they have two JRs. That's unfortunate. One green source. That's fortunate. So I'm taking a JR or a Vivian? Dang. Now I wish I would have taken the J Jade Light Ranger. Nope, not you. Thank you, you. need that yet. We'll get that back when we need it. I'd like to have like a Ritual of Sit. Be a good card to find. Hey, what's up, Zerf? It's going good. We're trying out this janky uh, whatever control deck. Uh, Grixis Land Destruction deck. It's been going pretty good. So I'm going to need more lands. So right now I have five lands. 
Um, we'll probably draw more land somewhere else, though. Okay, well. Dang. Completely punished for ditching those lands. Completely punished. Wow. Wow, completely punished for ditching those lands. Should have just taken one land. Wow. So we want to see Ritual of Soot or a land. One of those two. Those would be our cards that we want to see. Preferably Ritual of Soot. Alright, we'll take the land. That'll work. We'll just contempt one of these things. Keep this down a little bit. And then we can Immortal Sun next turn, and then Star of Extinction the following turn. Because they don't have Leaf. Okay, well. So yeah, next turn Star blowing up their forest. Should be about game. Just like you. The song is so angsty. <laughs> Alright, good. Still the one green source. We'll be able to destroy that with the Star of Extinction. I guess they're going to draw some cards here, though. Draw two cards. Sure. Alright, down to five. Get rid of that green mana, that is. Perfect. They don't have the green for the canopy. We get to bombardment here. No! Not perfect. I take away my whole perfect comment. Take it away. Take it back, I mean. Take it back. <sighs> Rude. They should definitely take Conjecture and, like, not close. Yeah, I'll take I'll just take both of these. Those are good. So our opponent needs another negator duress here in a little bit. We're we can get the fight with fire back, kick fight with fire in two turns, and you know, we get to deal the twenty in two turns. So they have Whatever their draw step was this turn, and they have, like, next turn. So we'll just get the fight with fire back. That will kill them next turn. Tilt. Oh, 
I guess I could have waited. I should just wait till next turn to double that. I was gonna just like double the star extinction. We don't really need to kill stuff. All right, there's bombardment. Um, they only have two permanents out right now, though. Do I have a Wincon left? Uh, nope. I don't think I do. There we go. <clears throat> that's that's the win con. I'm picking it up. All right, three and one. Yeah, just my opponent not having any lands. And not playing with no lands. That's a win con. Ugh. Three and one for Grixis. Land destruction. Just, defe just defeated Sultai. Hey, Austral American. Good afternoon. The win con was the fight with fire and Mirari's conjecture. But we ran out of fight with fires and Mirari's conjectures. So. Yeah, main, main deck fight with fire is the only win con. You don't really need win cons though, TBH. <laughs> win cons are. They're not a necessity. They are... I don't know. Um, what's the term I'm looking for? Yeah, they're optional. They are... Like, if you're lucky, you get a win con. No lands. Don't draw lands. Good. Good, good. Let me get this thing out of here real quick. They're a bonus. A luxury. There you go. Luxury was the... That was the word I was looking for there. Luxury. There you go. Win cons are a luxury. Drawing that mountain right there was not good for us. Draw on that mountain was even worse for us. This has all worked out as the last two turns were exactly what we need to we needed our opponent to whiff a little bit. The last two turns they didn't. So now we're dead. And also we you know found all six and seven mana stuff. So let's move on to the next game where we're going to have all these uh, Soot, Coil, niv -Mizzet. Bring in all this stuff. I'm going to cut the Field of Ruin. Mm. 
65. Actually, I'm getting rid of a ritual. 64. I'm gonna take out Thought Erasure too. So you know, just two mana discard. I'd rather, I'd rather have Duress, and I don't want to have too many discard spells because the game will go later and everything. So taking out the Field of Ruin puts down to 26 lands, which is still a respectable number of lands. To have, especially in this economy, given that much real estate. All right, we'll get this Ascanta down to start fixing our draws. Especially looking for ritual set or early removal. That's early removal. Keep that. Definitely don't think that we're going to be winning this one. Especially game three. This is a, this is a good version of Mono Red. We, we defeated a weaker version of Mono Red earlier. We are a Grixis land destruction deck, you know, like we can only we can only do so much here. <laughs> I do have ten cards that cost six or more mana <laughs> in my main deck. This means we'll have to make that we'll have to let them draw three from this other risk factor because we're going to four. So decline. Would have liked to be able to counter that with the negate. Come on, seriously? But the Wizard's Lightning didn't really make that a realistic opportunity. Hey, three and two. Not a bad league. I'll take it. We're not going to beat the red deck that has those kind of hands. And that's okay. We beat another red deck. We were 1-1 one one against Mono Red. So, nothing wrong there. And 3-2 and two is certainly respectable. So, with our, our janky Grixis Land Destruction deck, it worked out pretty well, I'd have to say. Um, Haphazard Bombardment was, was clutch. We had some really fun games. And, yeah, it was a, it was a fun deck to play here. We did beat Mono Red in other times. We were actually one and one against Mono Red, but it was a it was a little bit different version of Mono Red that focused more on 
on burn spells and stuff and electrostatic field and things like that and uh, and everything like that but not so bad right above you Tr Trumayan, some somebody else hit deck just like 20 seconds ago and so MTG bot doesn't uh, do the x wish point deck thing over and over and over again. So if, if it doesn't work, that means that somebody else did it right above you, and you may have to wait a little bit. But there you go. You can always find the deck list always, of course, at streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG as well. All right, so that's Grixis Land Destruction. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.